Now, your news on the go. Overnight, Syracuse police have made several arrests in response to a kidnapping. It started around 8.45 last night on Butternut Street. Police say they were approached by a man who pointed out a different man, saying he had a knife and was trying to rob him. Police found a knife on the suspect and learned the victim's brother was being held captive at a home on East Laurel Street. When they arrived, police found the second victim and arrested two 23-year-old men. The bright colored haze in Solve now cleared after an apparent chemical fire sparked a shelter in place order around 1.30 yesterday afternoon. Hazmat and fire crews were called to Chem Trade Logistics just off Industrial Drive. Several containers full of chemical products caught fire. The fire chief says the area is now safe. Investigators in Oneida County are blaming a wood stove for a fire that killed two people over the weekend around one Saturday morning. Crews were called to a hunting camp off Nichols Mill Road in the town of Forestport. Joseph Funk and Thomas Dingman died in the fire. Two others were able to get out but were taken to the hospital with burns. The Bills and Giants facing off in a late game that ended just before midnight. During the first half, Buffalo's running back Damian Harris suffering a neck injury. He was taken off the field in an ambulance. Bills coach Sean McDermott says Harris's scan shows positive signs. In the end, Buffalo got the win 14-9.